Hey, 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 it's Shel Anderson from Shell's Creative Corner and Shell Anderson Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I blog at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com and I can be reached by phone at 204-232-7744 or by email at andersonshell at gmail.com. Today I'm here to share with you a 3D project using the Flower and Field Celebration DSP. And you'll see me here choosing three pieces of DSP. Um, the project that we're making today is super, super easy and very inexpensive to make, but super, super cute. I went to the dollar store and I picked up six little mini composition notebooks. And these are really super cute little notebooks, but they are not very pretty. So I had the idea that I was going to use some of this flower and field DSP and we are going to make them pretty. So my flower and field paper is at six by six and I am going to cut those down at the three inch mark. And that way I will have a piece for the back and the front of the notebook. I'm grabbing some score tape and I'm running score tape along the spine, the edge of the spine, and around each of the edges of the front cover of the composition book. You want to make sure that you have it very close to the edges without going over the edges. Now you'll see me with a bone folder here and I'm just burnishing that tape down to the composition book. Now I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool and we're just lifting off the um, paper backings on that uh, tear and tape to expose the adhesive. Now once I have all those paper backings off, I'm gonna take my first piece of paper and I'm going to butt it up right close to that spine, the black spine on the mini composition notebook. And you'll see me press that in place just with my hands at first and then I'm going to grab the bone folder and give it a really good burnishing. Now you'll see me open the notebook up and from the inside I am going to cut away the excess cardstock. And you'll see that the corners on these notebooks are kind of like a rounded square. So um, this step is necessary to, to uh, remove, not only remove the excess car, uh, DSP, but to um, round those corners properly. All right, there we have the front. Isn't that pretty? All right, now we're just going to repeat that process on the back side again. We're just going to take our tear and tape apply the tear and tape to the outside edges of the mini composition book, making sure that you're close to the outside edge without going over. Once I have all the tapes on here, I'll once again grab my bone folder and I'll run the bone folder over the tape, burnishing it making sure there's a nice seal right to the notebook. Now I have the take your pick tool. We'll be removing those paper backings and we are going to once again grab the DSP, put it right up tight 
to the spine so that you can't see any of that pattern that's on, printed on the notebook. Make sure it's all covered right up nice and tight. And then we're going to press it in place. Then I'm going to grab my bone folder and burnish that tape down. Once again, opening the notebook from the inside and I just grab my paper snips and we're snipping away the excess DSP and trimming around those corners. Now these little notebooks are super inexpensive. They come in a three pack for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. And in just a minute here, you're going to see how super cute these little notebooks are. And they're the perfect size to put in your purse or to have sitting beside your computer. And here's one I made earlier. Using some retired Poppy DSP. And I also have just the plain composition notebook in there to show you what it looked like before. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye for now.